Welcome back to the basement. The friendliest place on YouTube. We got a comment from some uh, poor demented soul that said that we <laughs> need say. to dress up all in red and I need to talk like Elmo for an entire episode. I'm going to go ahead and spare you and not do that for the entire episode because you might want to die. But yeah. uh, I will do it for some. And this was the Electric Seal. Thank you, the Electric Seal, for your comment, for your idea. We're so thankful for you. <laughs> it's um, funny that you said you called him a soul, a, t a sick, twisted, demented soul. And it turns out it, the actual name is Electric Seal. Yeah, he's a sick, twisted, demented seal. Seal? Huh? Seal soul, a modest test of strength. Oh, oh no. can do it. <laughs> Of strength. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, <laughs> I got this, dude. My favorite thing to do with Elmo voices is to say things that Elmo would never say, like um. Stock prices are going down. <laughs> <laughs> Beware of reapportionment. <laughs> 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 Ooh, ouch. Uh, oh, did that hurt? Shoot him right in the eye! <laughs> I knew my bow was gonna break. It's that fine. That flimsy bow! You need a new one! <laughs> <laughs> the trick is to laugh. You gotta laugh at, at the end of everything. The other, yeah, the other thing, that too, is the trick. you know, Elmo also talks to things like they're babies all the time, like... Oh! Hello, Guardian! How are you? <laughs> Hello! Hello, baby! <laughs> Emma, Do you love want a you. snack? Emma, Emma love you very much! <laughs> Emma, cut your head! <laughs> Elmo loves everyone. He does! It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. I need a new weapon. I heard Elmo was racist, actually. Oh, I'm not, no. I'm not going to tell you what race he's racist against, but uh, let's just it say it rhymes with schmetalian. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, Don't do that. Actually, uh, I watched a documentary <laughs> uh, <laughs> called Being okay. Elmo. Have you heard of this documentary or did it, have I talked about it before? Uh, I think my wife actually was mentioning it the other day because of how amazing it is to, um, be a Muppet puppet guide or whatever. Yeah, so it's this documentary about the life of the guy who is the voice of Elmo, and he's, he's like a big African-American guy. Like, big, really? tall, yeah, he's like Mr. T kind of size guy. And, uh... It's really funny because <laughs> it's such a tiny little voice, you know, that he does. But yeah. uh, he, you I know, he if did it hurts work his with Tim voice. Henson and I'm guessing, I mean, here's the thing. It kind of hurts my voice, but I can tell it's also like warming up my voice at the same time. Oh, sure. So, so if I'm, you were fully warm, then maybe you could do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little straining because especially when I try to go really high, because that's, I mean, it's definitely at the top of my range. You trying to actually hit him in the eye without slowing down time? Good luck! Well, <laughs> I hate the way the window Boom. works here. Dude, this Elmo costume is pretty awesome. It's an awesome it's costume. It's okay. Awesome costume. So, what I was going to say about the voice of Elmo, so, uh, they made the Elmo puppet years before Elmo actually became a real recurring character on Sesame Street. And originally, the voice of Elmo, Elmo was supposed to be a mechanic who worked on cars in the town. <laughs> this is like so anti-Elmo, right? <laughs> um, yeah, that does sound pretty strange. But his voice was like, hey, what's the matter with you, huh? Why don't you get on over here? We gotta wreck, we gotta fix your car. <laughs> Really? And they showed footage, like early footage, test footage of of that character. And like he didn't test well, like kids were not interested at all in this character. <laughs> of yeah, I'm course. Sure. A mechanic. I mean, really? 
<laughs> but hey, I'm Tony Dancer, huh? <laughs> but uh, hey, it's our first Guardian Sword Plus. Yeah, so they put the Elmo puppet away in like a back closet in like a back room, and the guy who is Elmo now found him because he was like an intern, or he wasn't he wasn't like a main puppeteer guy. I think he might have been one of the helping puppeteers who do a lot of like the ancillary side characters and stuff, you know, like singing pigs or whatever in the background. Sure. Um, so he was in the back room one day and he found this Elmo puppet and he started riffing on it and doing that high voice and like kids, like little, especially little kids. I'm just sure. loved Elmo. Like, I mean, it makes sense to me. Like, Kids, you know, like six, seven, eight, like they love Snuffy, they love Big Bird, you know, that kind of stuff. Right. But like but three, the little kids. two year olds and three year olds just fell yeah. in love with Elmo and they were like, this is awesome because now Sesame Street can reach <laughs> that group. But it's like, I mean, you could even see it too, like in those segments where they have Elmo interacting with babies. They're just like so happy. <laughs> like they're sitting in a high chair and there's just a baby there and Elmo's like, hello. I love you, baby. And the baby's like <laughs> smiling and like clapping and stuff. I suppose, <laughs> dude, <laughs> speaking of smiling, clapping babies, I don't think there's anything better than watching a baby, like an actual baby, not like a four year old, but like a two year old or a one year old, like clapping, smiling, and like missing, like trying to clap, but his hands yeah. keep missing. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, the next shrine is not the Keo Rug Shrine, is it? Uh, I don't think it is. Let me look up what we got here. Oh, ow. So we just did amazing. the Kanai Shaka. Next we have Kihayug. Hmm. Um, and this one is located. This is the one that is at the top of our favorite spot for making Link fall down cliffs. So Ooh. I'm going to let you go ahead and try to find that. Uh, I don't know where that on the is. Map. Uh, you don't know where that is? I suppose I no. always found it. It's not there. It's not. It's not in cold. You. We've been on the map for a while, so you should probably just tell me where it is. Okay, cool. So go left. It's it's <laughs> it's on the north side of the mountains that are on the bottom. Yep. Zoom in right there. Yep. Oh, this way. Zoom in. Okay. Go go north a little bit. Okay, stop there for just a second. I just want to make sure this is where I'm thinking it is. Okay. Um, okay. So back, uh, go down. Just oh, a little right bit. here. It's close this to is that the spot. Um, yeah. That's this. That's one of the spots we like. Go, go to the right more. There's another divot in this. There. Okay, that ledge right there. That area over there is where it is. So if you start heading that direction, it's. Um, Go a little bit left. Here. Up. Left. A little bit down. There. It's it's like on that ledge. It's the Perfect. It's, it's the shrine where like I was dropping the bombs and like trying to get it and like I couldn't pick the bomb up because the wind was blowing it away. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that, but I bet our viewers probably remember that because it's one of our early funny moments videos. <laughs> I haven't I have not watched any of the funny moments in a while. Oh, I probably dude. should. Well, part of it is that my kids watch it all the time. They, they watch oh. them on repeat because I tell yeah. them, you better watch your videos on repeat so they make us money. I said, if yeah, you watch kids. the videos 1,000 1, times, we get $1. <laughs> that's that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually figure... Okay, north. Uh, hmm. I wonder if I want to do a fly. Probably. Because we've got one left, and then, then we can charge. Time to fly. Um, we I figured out how much. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to talk too much about money in front of everyone. <laughs> how about but you I was use doing some code. math today. <laughs> well, I figured out how much um, money we make per video on average. But that's if like you average out the entire channel. Oh. So I was taking our total revenue divided by our 2,025 videos. <laughs> oh my gosh. I That's know. That's a lot Can of you? videos, dude. It is a lot of videos. <laughs> oh, we're out of egg rolls. Yeah, we're not out of videos. That's true. And we're making more every day. Every, every day. Every week. A new video. Every single every. 
That's right. Unless we miss it. <laughs> Which hasn't Which happened in happens. quite a while. We got close. Yeah. We got yeah. close on Sunday. This we week. miss them on the uh, on the secondary channel, which we don't have. But we don't. That, that's not, that's not a promise that we made to put new videos out every day on that channel. Yeah, or even every week. Because the channel right doesn't now exist. They're once a week. Right. That's part of it too. Yeah. Is that well, they would be once a week if it existed. <laughs> right. Whoa! Why are ah. you changing? Why are you changing out from? Because I need to climb, dude. Dude, it's not gonna happen. There's no what? way you're making it up this hill. I I don't believe in you. <laughs> There's no way, I can dude. Do it. What are you talking about? Dude, Elmo is not Elmo is not impressed. <laughs> well, Elmo can't climb. Elmo can too climb. I, Elmo climbs a corporate ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure thing, business Elmo. Elmo. <laughs> uh... We need more profits. <laughs> Slamming his little red fist down on the table. I told you, Fire Johnson! <laughs> <laughs> Fire Johnson? Hey, there's, uh, there's Dragon. The Snot Dragon. Mm, mm, mm. Like a big old Luger. Not a Luger, that's a type of gun. A Loogie. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> a Luger. Oh no. oh no, I said Luger. We're probably gonna get demonetized. Nah, we're talking about Lex Luger. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. He's Superman's arch nemesis. Except Superman's Mr. faster than a speeding bullet, so there's not really much to worry about. Dude, if you were faster than a speeding bullet, do you do you know what I would do if I was faster than a speeding bullet? What would you do? Accidentally run into something stationary and immediately kill myself. <laughs> By accident. <laughs> well, it it's it's important because he's also as powerful as a steamed locomotive. Oh, so like, is that like a steamed ham, but a locomotive instead of a ham? <laughs> it, it's very similar, yes. <laughs> <laughs> similar. Um, Elmo's cold. That's not Elmo. Not That's dressed Link like dressed Elmo. up in climbing clothes. Get back in your Elmo gear. What is uh, this? What is there, this? That's an Elmo what shirt. What is this? Amateur hour? <laughs> there we go. Cold Elmo. <laughs> cold Elmo. But you got a big fire sword, so that's actually making it so it's not so cold. Yeah, I put that on on purpose. Smart move. I if wish I, I could shield surf uphill. If I had a dollar for every time I saw Elmo with a giant flame sword, I would have one dollar. If I had a dollar every time uh, Ember's restaurant was still open, I'd have zero dollars. Is are did they close for good? Yeah, they went under. What? Wow. Oh, yeah. My grandma used to go to Ember's for her weekly old people get together. How do I pick up a how do I pick stuff up? You push the A, a. button. It's it's the I'm little I'm pressing Y because I've been playing too much Animal Crossing New Horizons. <laughs> You're expecting to pick that thing up and it go whoop. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> So Peter, I I like. Oh, it's a bear! Oh my gosh, I was Elmo so scared. Elmo fights the <laughs> dude, bear! Dude, dude, ride, ride the bear, ride the bear. Get on the bear! Don't burn the bear! Oh, that poor yeah, bear! Burn, bear, burn! Actually, this bear is like, you know what? Only you can prevent me fires. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Dude, stop! <laughs> wow, he's a good climber. Yeah, he, yeah, he is. Yeah, I got him. Hot, hot that guy. Oh. You are uh -oh. getting thrown off. You are in the late? midst of getting no, I'm thrown. Fine. No, you're getting oh. thrown. <laughs> I was trying to tell you, you were, were getting thrown. Dude, okay, so I'm watching the screen through Zoom, a video platform, because Peter and I aren't in the same room right now. And uh, when that bear stood up, oh. when that bear stood up, it looked like Gumby. Like freaking Gumby was standing up. <laughs> And I was like, what is going on? And we're not playing modded Breath of the Wild. Okay, can you take this that bear? This not a good listener. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> Looks nice, though. I like his poofy squirrel tail. What are you doing? Why do you burn that bear? I'm mad at him. He's starting everything on fire. He's the opposite of Smokey. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's going to be dead soon. <laughs> 
Whoop. Denny the bear, only you can prevent me from living. Uh, do they have a lot of hit points? Because I'm having trouble killing them. And this dumb guy keeps being existing. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he gonna fall? Oh, I, I feel legitimate. Like, I don't feel bad when we kill a fox, <laughs> but I feel really bad that you're attacking this bear. There's something about, like, not being able to kill it quickly that makes it worse. Like, it's just suffering so much. Part of it, too, is it's the way that the bear moves. He's just, he's galumphing around, and now he despawns. Did it disappear? Oh, yeah, he dis he disappeared, just like all the mommies disappeared. All the mommies disappeared. Dis it would be uh, bad. We would be sad. It was very nice of you to let me take the uh, melody every time we harmonized. Well, uh, that was the only way it was going to work. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that was a good decision. <laughs> uh, that was I, a lot of fun. I would love to do more musical stuff with you, Peter. Uh, Whose guitar was I playing? Yours? Probably because uh, I was playing the piano, right? Yeah. In that yes. video. Why don't, um, why don't if we... If anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, it's a good old time we had. I think, Peter, we should do some more musical things together. I think we could really do a good job with that. You know who what we could uh, do is we could work with Josh DeHaven. I mean, not DeHaven. <laughs> That's not his last name. With Josh. And he could help us figure out some cool ideas because he's very funny. Josh Gamer. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it. He he could think of some great stuff. Right. So we could come up with some funny things that we could do musically, and every once in a while we could do something musical on the channel. I think our viewers would like that, and that would that would show us our musical side, show our more yeah. musical side besides just yeah. uh, singing shrine, shriny shrine, and um, uh, is it this thing? I I don't I don't think so. But I'm right gonna have to double shoot check it with here. an electric arrow. Travel to the area. Uh, yep, yep. You gotta shoot it with lightning. Does it matter what time of day it is or anything? Nope, you just gotta shoot it with a lightning arrow. Hopefully you have some. But you do I have do. to hit it. Uh, maybe I should fall from above. Nice. Or maybe I should, um, ravioli. No, 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 don't, no, don't. <sighs> what, why not? <laughs> okay, shoot it now. Can I drop? I was just thinking you were gonna arc your, your arrow so it, like, landed right. Not that good. Whoops. Better hurry. Whoops. Got it! And look at you're right by it. That was really, really well timed out. Uh, accidentally. I, I would agree. <laughs> Ammo found well, a shrine! Yay! <laughs> uh, does Elmo have time to do this shrine? No! In the basement! Ha ha ha! Perfect. 